This isn't gonna work. Oh boy, this is not gonna work here. Let's get that out of the way. All right, so let's build a PC. It's been a while since we built one, right? I believe last year we built, what, maybe about three or so, and then I upgraded my main PC a whole bunch. So anyways, let's get our first build of 2020 in here. All right, so what we're gonna be building here is a budget-friendly gaming PC. And talking budget-friendly, I don't necessarily wanna say budget, because we can build a gaming PC for around 400, 450 bucks. I actually did one, if you haven't seen it, go check that one out, uh, by the way. But this whole complete build here comes out to 650 bucks but i really feel like with this build talking budget friendly is number one we're gonna get some fantastic 1080p gaming performance but number two we also have a, a nice platform to upgrade if we want to in the future so talking about the parts we're using right there what i want to really kind of stress is this is like again i think a very great starting point a base point for a starter gaming pc again you got room to upgrade and stuff like that but again out the box i feel like we have some pretty solid parts again coming in at 650 50 bucks but if 650 bucks is still too expensive for you number one like i stated i did that 450 dollars build but even talking about this build you can still cut corners here you know what i mean bring that uh, ram down a little bit you don't need an ssd you know I don't recommend you downsizing your PSU. You're using 600, 600 watt right here, but you can get a 550 using what the uh, 570 right here. I recommend you going 600 or plus right there. You don't need RGB fans, you know what I mean? You can get a couple fans out there for like, psh, I don't know, maybe 20 bucks or something like that, you know what I mean? So you can cut corners here and probably get this build closer to 550 or 600 right there. But all right, enough yakking, let's get building. All right, so finally done with the build here. What do you think of it? Me personally, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. At 650 bucks, aesthetically at least, it looks absolutely phenomenal. Now, one other thing I wanted to mention, as you all saw going through whenever you're putting in the PSU, the power supply right there, it had the real kind of chintzy, just colorful, uh, all the colored wires coming through there. Me personally, I like going modular or semi-modular uh, power supplies. Number one, so you don't have all the clutter down there and everything. But you know, I mean, the price sure does jump up quite a bit when you get into those. But anyways, with this one right here, as you saw all the colored wires in there, it just looked ugly. Again, kind of going with our black and red theme right here, those wires kind of threw it off. Now we can get covers off Amazon for like, probably like five bucks, 10 bucks, something like that, easy breezy. But again, going back to the case here, as you see the glass is tinted, so you kind of get that little touch of black and red in there. Now when you take it off, as you can see right here, then you can get in there and actually see the colors of the wire. But again, kind of talking with the tinted right there, it really hides it, so it's really not necessary to do that. But if you wanted to, that's an easy fix. But all right, so I already have Windows installed, but I want to install some games. We'll install uh, and do a few tests on some games, get some temperature readings and everything like that. I'm gonna go grab lunch and I'll be right back with you guys.
All right, so what did you think about those results right there? Me personally, incredibly happy with them. Absolutely smooth and gorgeous 1080p gameplay. Now, when we fired up a little bit more of a taxing game, Borderlands 3 there, as you saw, we were on medium settings. We were getting around 80 FPS. And by the way, on medium settings, it still looked absolutely gorgeous. But when we kicked it up to very high, we kind of came down into the 50s. And, you know, we always want to stay in the 60s uh, plus right there. So I think the sweet spot for a game like that is going to be high. Kind of get up into those, uh, you know, higher 60s low to mid 70s I think will be perfect and kind of take that example Borderlands 3 into other games like Call of Duty if you're playing Call of Duty those are the kind of results you're going to get as far as Rainbow Six and Fortnite not very taxing games right there the other really great thing was the temps on the PC right here as far as the CPU as you saw we're using the Scythe Fuma 2 right here and actually in my main PC I use the Scythe coolers as well I used to use uh, AIOs the Corsair ones and I uh, changed over to these Air ones right here and wow the results are even fantastic on my main PC. I did a review of two other, uh, the Ninja, and I forget the name of the other one, but anyways, I did two videos on those, so go check those out. It kind of shows the results from an AIO into that, again, on my main PC, but even as far as this one, stag temps at 27 uh, in-game, what were we, right around 35 to 37? Like, holy smokes, that's amazing. That's with the cover on or the cover off there as well, and again, we have three fans up front, and of course, the Fuma 2, we got two fans going right through here with the, the cool are separate there so it's kind of nice it dispert, uh, dissipates the heat throughout the whole deal and then we have one fan on the back I mean we can even boost it up as far as attempts as far as fitting two fans on the top right up here and it'd be even better but as it is right now Wow, again, fantastic. Now, as I sit here thinking like, well, what would be some upgrades in the future we would look for on this thing? Of course, we all want the best graphics card, right? The 570, again, like I state, best bang for your buck out there as far as 1080p performance, fantastic card. But maybe down the road, Black Friday, you scoop up a 590 for super cheap. Heck, if you got some spare change, you get 5700 XT, plop it over 2600, absolutely fantastic. I used to play that way actually with 2657 XT on 1440p gaming and it was great great really really nice so sure you can do that down the road but then of course we get out of that whole budget friendly class right here a couple things as is that maybe i would do sooner than later maybe go on and throw two extra fans up top there i mean we don't need it but it's kind of like why not it's a cheap easy upgrade slap them in there get a little bit better uh, results as far as temps and everything so heck why not you know but the one thing I would probably do again sooner than later was get rid of that hard drive because I do notice the games load just a little bit slower right there. Maybe just leave it in there for mass storage, like pictures and documents or something like that. You know what I mean? So sure, let's leave it in there. Maybe let's go on and slap in another SSD. Um, go maybe get an NVMe. We got the M.2 slot on this motherboard too. So that'd be a great upgrade right there. Those are probably the two things I would mainly do. Leave that hard drive in there again, mass storage. Get a couple more SSDs in there, a little bit bigger space. And I think we're going to be prime time for quite a while here. And then, of course, if you want to upgrade down the road, maybe look for a better graphics card. But it's not saying anything's wrong with this. Again, it's fantastic how it is. And like I said, you're set for some upgrades. So, all right, as far as the conclusion right here, like I stayed through the entire video, I love it. Aesthetically, the looks, the style looks fantastic. I know everyone's not into black and red, but of course you can kind of tweak it uh, to your liking whenever you're ordering your case and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And yes, how I got it to 650 bucks right here, of course, like I stated in the beginning, just kind of take your time and pick out your pieces here and there, watch some deals, follow me on Twitter so you can catch some of those right there, you know, because it did save a lot of money a uh, search for stuff like the $100 graphics card, $55 on the case, you know what I mean? So watching for these deals makes a very large impact on your PC, being able to get the performance for a dollar right there. But hey, that's gonna be it here, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one. I hope I was to help you out if you're looking at building a PC, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.